When you came here today, you were known as Gus and Cassie. Two separate lives. When you leave here today, you will always be thought of as one, a married couple. Be one and keep God in your marriage. With his help, you will be able to continue to grow in your love for each other. Gus, I can't believe today is finally here. Every day I wake up feeling so blessed to have you by my side. Thank you for being my rock and always helping me remember what's important in life. Cassie, feels like just yesterday you came to neighbor house for beach party. I can't wait for you to be my wife and I to be your husband. I know there will be difficult times ahead with our jobs and relocation, but it is such a comfort knowing you will be by my side through those times. Meeting Gus was obviously a very different story. I was living on a different continent when the two of them started seeing each other, so I had to get all my info from afar. But from what I could tell, he was, you know, I really liked him. He was cute enough for Cassie, which was very important. And <laughs> he made her really happy, and my parents liked him, so that was good enough for me. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be crying already. I cried with dad too. <laughs> I love you more and more every day and I look forward to growing old with you. God has truly blessed me by putting you in my life and I thank him for it every day. Love you lots and I promise to be a better partner than I was at Beach Party. <laughs> I'm so excited to finally get to call you my husband. I love you more than I ever thought possible, and I could not be more excited to share my life with you forever. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And so in the presence of the church, I now ask you to state your intentions. Augustus, do you take Cassie to be your wife? Do you promise to be faithful to her in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love her and honor her all the days of your life? I do. Cassie, do you take Augustus to be your husband? Do you promise to be faithful to him in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love him and honor him all the days of your life? I do. It is my distinct honor to announce to you, Mr. and Mrs. Gibbs. You may kiss the bride.
more time passed and I could see that these two were getting pretty serious. I kind of had the idea that they would get engaged on our cruise, and they did, of course. And naturally, I cried way more than either of them. They were calm and collected, and for the rest of the cruise, I was crying on command and happily announcing to everyone that my little sister was engaged and making them check out her massive rock, too. What it was, uh, no matter what we were competing at, Gus was always trying extremely, extremely hard. But when we talk about trying extremely, extremely hard, it brings up another thing onto that list. Gus tried with all of us, but he also tried uh, really hard for Cassie. happy that you're joining our family, Gus. I love the way you and my sister look at each other, speak to each other, and care for each other. I know that you'll always protect her, and I'm really thankful for that. So on behalf of all the Waltz crew, welcome to the family. Uh, he, was, he was always with us, always hanging out, but uh, when he wasn't with us, we oftentimes knew that he was sneaking away to see Cassie. So we're glad that he uh, that he found her, and and we're just blessed to have you in the friend group as well. to you, Cassie and Gus, to many happy years together, and to many children who can someday call me Aunt Kylie. Cass, I'm glad you found your lobster, and I'm sorry you have to live with a boy. Cuidado!